October is now behind us, but let's go ahead and take a recap of what it looked like. You're seeing more blue boxes indicating there were more below normal days than not, but we did close it out on a warm foot. I mean, especially this past Thursday and Friday, we had our highs in the 90s. Yesterday it was a high of 87, but that was still one degree above normal for the date. Now here we are jumping into a new month and we're off to a very mild start for today because in Palm Springs on today's date, an average high would be 85 and here we are a high temperature of 83 degrees this afternoon at the airport. Not too bad. Plenty of cloud cover overhead and still those morning lows in the 50s and 60s. A very fall like forecast. So maybe go ahead, have some soup this evening, you know, really bask in that fall feeling because I am tracking a warm up as we head through the rest of this week. So for tonight, those clouds are staying with us. But what's actually going to be happening as the clouds are with us for now, as we head into tomorrow, we're actually going to begin to see more of those clouds clear out and a ridge of high pressure will begin to build in through the rest of the week, meaning our temperatures will be on the rise. But today, the whole reason for the cloud cover is a system that is much farther up towards the north, bringing precipitation much farther to the north. Meanwhile, we're just seeing a lot of cloud cover across the Southland. And again, those clouds will be staying with us through the rest of tonight. As we head overnight, we'll begin to see more of those clouds clear. However, tomorrow there's still going to be some passing clouds around. So mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies for our Tuesday before plenty of sunshine is jumping right back into our forecast and on your comfort air seven day forecast bringing those 90s back into play as we close out the work week. Also something I really need to point out to you. We're about to fall back everyone come Sunday. That is the end of daylight saving time, and that is when we need to set our clocks back by one hour. John Karen. Oh, here we Extra go. Hour of sleep, right? And it's yeah. dark much earlier. Feels like <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs>